Hey, what up, everyone? Welcome back. I'm not going to tell you to like and subscribe, because this is a very indifferent video from what we usually do. So, uh, as a lot of you knew, when I first created the channel... Sorry, I'm a little under the weather. And when I first created the channel... It was meant to help people with avoiding pay to win. And I saw many games at that time that were using microtransactions as a way to line their pockets. So when I first started making my videos, I started covering openings. Things like Jungle Cat mount packs and stuff like that. The reason behind this was so many people put so much money into games like this that it just was a ending point. The only way to get Tarmoon trade bars was from the factor of opening lockboxes. The only way to get these mounts was from these lockboxes in the end result. People would spend money and basically not know about a lot of the methods that could be done. I saw an opportunity to make a change in the gaming community. And I took great pleasure in it every bit of the way helping people. Lockboxes like, let's see, probably should have grabbed some advanced ones like this, where you would want something like this, and then you'd even have a small chance to get the thing that is here, the Savage Polar Bear. I slowly took my time to teach people different ways to be able to attain these things without using the in-game currency without having to do this, by finding ways to make the money to do the AD exchange. And then therefore, a lot of things changed that day. And I was very happy to see all this change happening. But as it is now, there is no more lockboxes that are coming out like this. Lockboxes now are completely optional. You can get a lot of these legendary and mythic account mounts from dungeon boxes. Choosing to pay to win has become completely optional rather than a staple in such a game. And that's why I'm going to be resigning from making Neverwinter videos now. I'm very happy to have been part of this community and working with them whether it was giving back to the community and helping others. And I understand that this is going to be confusing for a lot of longtime viewers, and it's very much confusing for me, because I don't know what game I'm going to go to next. But any chance there is to actually stop pay to win, I'll make sure that there is a chance to put it to halt. Right now, I've been enjoying Elder Scrolls Online a lot, as it stands right now, pay to win isn't really a big factor in that. You pay for your expansions, you pay for the game. What I do enjoy though is that with my Twitch, I actually have something going on where if you go over to my Twitch channel, it will basically give you a option to get a free reward. It's some kind of crowns crate that you get for free when you go over and you basically click the thingy in my chat. And I am very happy that that is happening. And I really do hope to see a lot of people over there taking advantage of the free things that my channel is now offering. Because in the end, I just don't want to see pay to win continue happening with so many games. And I know that it is a community effort. And I'm very proud of the community for stepping up and very happy to everyone that watched my videos. Honestly, I appreciate the support every bit of the way. I wanted to send this off with using up the last little bit of these and just open up whatever's left and then head on my way. It may take me a little bit of time before I can find out what I'm going to do next. It may take me a month, maybe a year. Hopefully not a year though. But I look forward to the next adventure that I'm going to enjoy with all my friends from Extreme Gaming, to my cousin Tomcat, to everyone that I have worked with time and time again 
to make the community a better place. And I'm very proud to call them my friends, be it Turtle or any of the others. <laughs> we always enjoyed ourselves goofing around on games, and I honestly can't see myself hanging out with anyone else. We're a tightly knit group of friends that really just enjoy just messing around and having a good time. And I genuinely am happy to have met these guys. Even when I'm at my lowest, they're always there for me. They got my back, and honestly, that's what friends are for. And with that, we're going to do this final opening. 279 enchanted keys. So let's send this series off with a bang. And from me to all of you, to every supporter, to every viewer, to all my friends, new and old, thank you. I couldn't ask for better people to be at my side. There we go. And honestly, that just wraps it up. I hope you guys do enjoy it. I'll probably use some of these for some filler content. We'll open up three of these actually, all right? Just to get that out of the way. And we'll use some of these for filler content while I figure out a new game to start uploading. Again, thank you guys so much for all the support over the past few years. I couldn't have done it without everyone's help. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care. Peace.